Okay, my name is Jae Won Cho, the welcome to Science Cabin uh, in Korean Gwaeljip, where we converge every activity, including science engineering laboratory, into uh, living, living lives every day base. So uh, the, not, the name after name after those uh, the definitions. So uh, here is uh, the area of a science cabin. So we comprise of uh, three different floors, basement, first floor, and the second floor. Basement, we have a, a storage tank. Uh, the second, uh, the first floor, we have a living lab and engineering lab. So we combine these two. I will uh, discuss this one, introduce to you uh, in seconds. The third floor, uh, the second floor, so we have a living lab and a lot of uh, seminar activity, so we have in there. The first, I'd like to introduce uh, a couple of uh, places in first floor. Okay, let's uh, take a look at, follow me. So we have a total uh, 165 square meter in total in a science cabin, with a science cabin. So here is a dining room and the kitchen I will show you in detail. So we have another dining room and studio types of uh, uh, the spaces uh, where artists invited to this one with a program of residency. So they're doing artistic work for exhibition as well. So we have a couple of visitors this year as well. So let's see uh, the toilet. We have uh, two different toilet inside the science cabin. The one I will uh, show you. Okay, so follow me. So we have a BV toilet. So in the after name of the bee from honeybee. So honeybee collecting a lot of valuable one the, from the world. V, a second, B, V, V is a vision. So we have a vision like honeybee to collect a lot of uh, the valuable things from the world. So. Uh, as you close look at this uh, the toilet the designed specifically for this research, this is a non-flushing toilet, only one existing in the world. We designed this one, only one. So we have uh, two different parts. So urine and the feces, so actually separated. If you use this one, we collect the urine separately. We collect the feces and the, uh, separately. So we use a very little amount of water. So only one liter for the feces. So compared to uh, 13 and 10 liter of a general flushing toilet, so we saved a lot of money. So almost uh, only one tenth of water actually used to flush that out. But, so with that water, we uh, used for the the biological digestion to produce bioenergy. So I will show you uh, in second in the engineering lab. Let me let me flush it out the first one. So uh, we have a little bit sound because we use the vacuum pump. Please uh, don't be surprised. Only about uh, one liter used to suck the uh, you your and our feces into the pipeline to the, the storage tank and the followed by uh, the anaerobic digestion to produce bioenergy. So the, then we have a, uh, the different button to flush our urine. About the 0.5 liter. So only used to flush your urine. So with this one, so uh, all the urine and the feces transported automatically to the uh, engineering lab. So uh, through biological digestion, we produce uh, the bioenergy such as methane and uh, to be used for our cooking, for our shower. Uh, I will show you in a second. So from those, so we created the value based on your feces produced per day and then we put the specific money. So in the name of a feces, a standard money, okay? With the unit of a gul, so you got the 10 gul, 10 gul per day from your donation of a feces because you produce the, the value out of your feces and urine. So that's the basic, basic income types of the 
uh, feast is a standard money. So the, then money can be used to purchase other product from a store uh, in the, uh, the platform FSM uh, dot the network. Okay, so uh, let me show you uh, the next uh, the kitchen. Okay, we, how we uh, use the, your bioenergy produced from your feces. Here we have a kitchen area, and then you can cook in the morning and whenever you would like to use this system. So uh, then we have uh, the kitchen system and the water, the tap system. Over there, engineering lab connected to our living lab uh, from toilet, so uh, in, in the kitchen. So as you can see over there, so there are water treatment uh, system and a biological digestion system and uh, the gas storage tank. And uh, finally, we have a connection system to the, uh, the, side, uh, uh, the kitchen so that we can cook right here. So uh, the, there's an uh, engineering lab so in boundary uh, with this uh, the living uh, lab as well. So let me, let me show you how you cook, uh, how to use. So uh, you first open gas tank and then you okay, all the energy being used this one to cook your food in the morning and uh, whatever you want, whenever you want and then you, you can use this one. Okay, so uh, then we connect, in this way you connect living area and engineering lab so uh, we have a flow of energy, flow of waste flow of human relations. So uh, that's the, they, uh, the way we are living this world through energy, the water even, and uh, a lot of different activities in this uh, science cabin. And then we have uh, two different tap, two different taps. Whenever you use the water, the wastewater actually flow into uh, uh, the wastewater tank and then uh, the treat using uh, reverse osmosis, uh, the membrane, and uh, followed by uh, UV disinfection, and then reuse all over again. We have uh, always uh, the two tap. So we have uh, one tap and uh, the other tap. So uh, the first tap it is connected to the wastewater reclamation unit. So all water you used, so uh, the, the flow into the wastewater reclamation and the, the treatment system, and to, to provide the, the back to this uh, tap, you can use it. The water quality actually guaranteed by the engineer and the scientist. So uh, then, but the, someone actually asked to use this one they concern using this one, then there are option to use the tap water instead. So there are option, two different options. So always we are freely so, uh, the, the use these types of two different options. Okay, let's take a look at the engineering lab, the next. So uh, we have, uh, the, for safety reason, we have uh, the barrier so uh, the, then I will use this key and to go to engineering lab. As you can see here, there are a couple of uh, uh, apparatus uh, instrument uh, to be to be used for uh, the scientific and engineering experiment. So every, every experiment and connected through the pipeline and uh, the other the purposes of uh, the line. And then we have input from toilet to this uh, tank located in the, down the basement. The, from the basement, we have a pump into each reactor so to produce energy and fertilizer. So uh, the reclamated wastewater to provide even tap water over there in, uh, at the, uh, the living, living uh, uh, the space, okay? And then uh, first, uh, I'd like to introduce the, the basement, basement storage tank. 
As you can see here, so uh, down there, there are three different storage tanks. One for uh, the feces, the second one for urine, third one is uh, used water, waste water. Uh, the third one, the waste water, is mixed with uh, the rain water from outside to be treated by reverse osmosis membrane followed by UV disinfection to be provided to the, uh, the living area for cooking and uh, the shower as well. So I'd like to introduce our uh, biological anaerobic digestion bioreactor to uh, treat the, the feces. So from the, uh, the storage tank, so the, we, we are the cultivated bacteria, anaerobic bacteria. So uh, they use the, the feces as a food to produce the methane so, uh, and uh, the bio, biogas. So biogas produced from this uh, anaerobic uh, digestion chamber bioreactor, actually the, the storage, so uh, delivered to the, uh, this, uh, the tank uh, through, through the pipeline or above the, uh, the rooftop area and uh, connected to uh, this uh, the pressurized uh, the tank. So uh, biogas, including uh, methane uh, stored in this tank to be used for the kitchen and a boiler system for the hot shower and even even uh, even the for the generating electricity using uh, the fuel cell systems the present here with a capacity of uh, two kilowatt so uh, the, then we have uh, three different options with uh, this uh, methane uh, biogas first one cooking and uh, the second one, uh, boiler water. Third one, to generate energy. So uh, the, the, with uh, the fuel cell. After producing a biogas such as methane, uh, the bacteria food as a sludge. So uh, the, from the, uh, the toilet with a medium of a feces and still remained. Okay, a certain amount of uh, feces still remained and then we stored in here uh, to be used to produce uh, the composite. So fertilizer types of a composite, and uh, we will use those composite for the vegetable garden around the science cabin. So uh, everything from this uh, science cabin, from the toilet, we used uh, to, to produce energy fertilizer through, uh, through uh, the, this, uh, the system of a baby toilet, and the feces stand out the money. That's why we give the person as a basic income types of feces stand out the money by 10 good, okay, everyday base. Okay, thank you for having me. My name is Jaewon Cho again. Uh, I'd like to share my uh, research result and discussion with the topic of feces stand out the money. Feces stand out the money is a conceptually designed money money itself, of course, so uh, that can be used for everybody to based, on, uh, based on a sign we can use to communicate in a society with the economic uh, the systems and different environment. And of, of course, we can apply this one to a community. I will uh, discuss that in a second. So, uh, so we have, of course, uh, present existing money like uh, US dollar and Korean won. So there are similarity, to both feces standard money and uh, existing money are money. Okay, so we can use those one, but there are uh, the difference in definition as well. So uh, the feces standard money, so uh, they can be used for a couple of different purposes. So uh, there are, uh, so uh, there are similarities as well. So uh, uh, there are uh, the franchise store in the Guyong uh, province uh, near here, Ulsan and Korea. So uh, the, we have we have uh, uh, we have asked the uh, the manager of cafeteria and restaurants to place different prices depending on their understanding. Let me let me introduce the, the first things. This is a standard money. 
has a different standard of value, unit of account, from uh, existing money. So uh, as you already heard about, heard about the, uh, the toilet of a BV, as I experienced, as I introduced our science cabin. So uh, you introduced or donated your feces per day. So uh, then you can imagine a uh, certain amount of value. So we place a certain, uh, certain money of the feces standard money with a unit of 10 gul. The gul is a unit of a feces standard money. And then based on those, so you can imagine certain amount of value in your mind, in your, uh, in your, in your uh, standard. And then how much you can actually have a value out of those the value have in your mind and you can place a different prices to other products and services. So uh, we would like to break a certain frame of a standard of a value uh, to be uh, transacted between, between people, between country, the between, the between the stores. So uh, that's the, the, my purpose, to introduce this uh, physics standard money. And in summary, so we have a different standard of value, unit of account between thesis standard money and existing money. So existing money has a standard of value at long time ago gold, money itself, and a credit, and a certain of then, and they or we then sometimes experience a bubbled value. Okay, not exactly uh, the, the actual value, we bubble the value, then we have uh, the problem from real estate, bubbled, and capital as well. So uh, from, uh, to solve this problem, uh, we can renovate a certain uh, structural economic system, but my way and uh, the effort from uh, science world is that we introduce different money, having different standard of value. That's the, our purposes. So uh, that's the standard of value. So, so we would like to design the physics of standard money naturally. Okay, so what do we mean by the nature? So nature has a certain regulation, a certain law, such as a causality. So uh, I'd like to put uh, nature of nature into this uh, physics of standard money. So money, existing money, I mean, never disappear, right? If you earn from your uh, activity in economic uh, the system, so you got money and you store your money in bank, in your vault, in your account, the money never disappear. That's not nature at all. So uh, the then bring us a lot of problem. As I mentioned earlier, discriminations, inequalities, so uh, a lot of problem. So uh, then, if we design our money with the name of a physical standard money naturally, so we would like to make uh, the money being, money uh, existence in the nature. So uh, money, physical standard money disappear. So uh, is uh, designed to disappear by 7% per day. If you got, if you got 10 gul, uh, the from uh, donating your feces per day, then you produce energy and uh, fertilizer, right? So the, then you got the tank good, or you earn a certain amount of feces standard money from your activity in a society by transacting your product and service. Uh, anyway, your feces standard money disappear by 7% per day because we believe uh, those are natural, okay? So naturally designed money is a big, big nature of the physics standard money, different from existing money, US dollar, and one. And then once you, once you use uh, the physics standard money, after that, the, the money actually return the state of nature, and then you uh, we are pretty much ready to be, to use the, those money once again from the beginning. 
So that's the solution, I believe, to solve a lot of problems uh, existed in our society, such as inequality. And uh, the capital that bring us a lot of problems with those the from, the, from the nature of the, uh, the physics standard, we can uh, solve a lot of problems. And as I mentioned, so we can use the physics standard money for uh, the community activity. But the community has already their own money, the name uh, LETS, local, uh, local exchange trading system money. But there are a big difference between the money of the physics standard money and the latch system money. Latch system money has a specific uh, the character. So within their boundary of a community, they use their money and uh, they don't want to use their money outside of their community. Okay, so uh, they would like to designate, indicate the specific uh, the value through uh, the latch system. But FSM, physics standard money, the meanwhile, uh, actually refer to something else in general, different from the latch system. So uh, uh, I respect uh, the community activity. A lot of times I uh, experience those one with uh, my colleagues, but we are different with the money concept uh, we have in our mind. Okay, so uh, the recently we finished this uh, the book of uh, the title, the Honey Money, FSM, Business Standard Money, New Money for the New Society. This book is going to going to come up very at uh, the short week in uh, the certain site in the bookstore in Amazon as well. So if you're really interested in the, this uh, physics standard money, you can refer to, you can uh, read this one. And I'm more than happy to receive uh, uh, your comment and question. So I'm happy to introduce this uh, the new book as well. Of course, we have uh, the platform, the homepage, uh, the name, so uh, fsm.network. So we have a, uh, we have uh, the franchise, you can use it, but, but we are not active yet. This concept of a physics standard money has not been uh, spread uh, throughout the, uh, the world yet, but we are trying to spread, expand this uh, idea into many different places uh, in Korea. Of course, we, are, uh, we, are, we have uh, different colleagues in abroad, for example, India, the community of Oroville, Oroville uh, they are trying to use our concept of physics standard money with a different name, Aura, in their community. So, uh, and then we have uh, another uh, the colleagues in uh, uh, different places in UK, so uh, the China and many different places, but right now it's not active uh, yet. So we are trying to extend this idea into many different places. Okay, but if you are part of this uh, the platform, FSM uh, net network, and, uh, and the money actually flow without any concern, without active, uh, active uh, uh, participation in this uh, the community, community, but the money naturally flow from uh, somewhere to you, from yourself to other, in nature, so that's the character of the uh, the physics standard uh, money at uh, the nature. Okay, money, the specially physics standard money, uh, actually is alive. Okay, so uh, act in a in a natural way. So uh, the general money, such as uh, the Korean won, so they never flow without any transactions. But with this money, if you are certain money certain portion of, portion of a piece of standard money automatically shared with your colleagues within this uh, platform. And then the money disappear, as I, as I already uh, mentioned to you. So money flow from somebody to other person and other persons to yourself. The between colleagues, between peers, the money flow in natural way. That's the, that's the way we designed this one. But, of course, this uh, physics standard money play a role so as money itself. Okay, so uh, through 
basic uh, FSM concept and uh, the human income as well. A lot of different times we would like to uh, invite you to the world, world of this one. Okay. Okay. So if you, if we got the lost in the load, what happened to us? What are we going to do to find a new way? So we look up to the sky, especially at the North Pole at night, to find out the constellation of the big, big, uh, big scoop, right? Like this one. So a science world and the beings, so we are going to uh, converge a different concept, different uh, major, different academic area into one uh, conceptual way so that we can use in pragmatic way. You know, here, uh, by pragmatic way, I mean we would like to invite the, the new concept to complete the old concept. So we have all the concept of money. Then I introduce a new concept of money, such as uh, physics standard money, to complete the money concept. Money is nothing but a sign to be used to communicate with, uh, with, uh, uh, within the economic system, depending on environmental uh, influences, affections. So uh, then, from this science world, then hopefully, the based on a constellation of big scoop like that, we would like to find our find a way to, to solve a lot of problems we are facing with now. The, from the economic system, the, for example, once again, discriminations, inequality, crime crisis, and uh, so on. Okay, this is it. And, uh, so I hope uh, I can invite you all uh, to a uh, science world and to a uh, science cabin and experience our uh, activity. Okay, thank you for uh, having me and uh, the peace safe from this uh, corona pandemic. Okay, thank you very much.